My name is Izet Sinan. Uh, I've been with Morgan Lewis since 1994 uh, and I'm in the Brussels office and our Brussels office uh, focuses primarily on EU antitrust and regulatory matters. I think that uh, it's clear from the workings of the Commission that DG competition has historically been one of the most significant and important uh, tools of integration in the EU and what it's done to date has been more effective and I think more accepted than uh, many other parts of the Commission which are seen to be simply regulating what people can and cannot do uh, as opposed to uh, trying to establish a fair playing field in what people are doing. Um, so um, while there has been a perception historically uh, that the Commission is, quote, against national champions. Um, I I'm not sure that that is really the focus of what the, the Commission is doing. I think the Commission is far more concerned about making sure that the competition rules are applied in a consistent manner, both at the national and the EU level. So looking at the telecoms area, uh, you can see from the statements, the public statements of Commissioner Vesterhager that uh, she wants that consistency. Uh, at the same time, uh, there will be cases that will be dealt with at the national level because they qualify for review at the national level. For example, uh, the BTEE deal that the UK's uh, Competition and Markets Authority uh, is looking at and which has been provisionally cleared just today um, as we speak with no remedies. Uh, at the same time there will be other cases which are big cases which fall to be uh, reviewed at the level of the EU and despite the fact that those cases may be uh, focused on one country, um, I don't think the Commission is going to readily refer those cases back to the national regulator even when a request is made because those are the cases where the Commission can impose EU-wide, EU-consistent um, remedies. And I'm thinking specifically of Hutchison Telefonica, which is a UK deal where the CMA has requested referral but where it doesn't look to me as if the Commission is going to refer the case back. But, as in all of these cases, I think there will be very close cooperation and collaboration between the European Commission and the national regulators precisely to get that consistency uh, together.